Hey guys, I'm Max. Welcome back to the All 22 Podcast. I'm here with Alessandro, John, and our host, Ethan Shank. Hi. Well, thank you guys for joining. There's also other people in the room. I don't know if they want to talk. Um, they're here for other purposes. There's Cam back there. Ethan's in the corner. Aaron's in the bathroom. But um, we are in Baltimore right now um, in a haunted hotel getting ready tomorrow. We play John Hopkins, the number nine team in the nation. Um, pretty excited you know, play another game of football. But like we said, we're in a haunted hotel right now. Um, Big Al, you've been really, really into this haunted part. So you want to tell us some of the stats and stuff and what's Facts. going on here? So what like, is what's the name? Is like the Queen? Wait, the Lord Queen. Baltimore Hotel. Lord Baltimore Hotel. There's like 20 or 22 suicides. Um, three like haunted residents. So there's like a a man named Robert. I think it's like his daughter who's like four years old. Named Molly. Name's Molly. 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 And then, like, his Thanks wife, you. who I, we don't know the name really, but yeah, she's dead too. And yeah, they, apparently they haunt the place. But yeah, there's like 20 suicides in this building that happened on the 19th floor because it was the tallest building in Maryland. Yeah. It's. Yeah. Yeah. It's. <laughs> John. John. Um, yeah, it's, you know, it's been a fun day. We've been on the road for about four hours. Mm -hmm. um, we stopped by Towns. Tout. Tout. Towson. 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 Towson University, we did our walk through there on their like backup lacrosse field, I think. Um, they had really weird turf. It was like sand, squishy. It was green. squishy, yeah. Very, very it was squishy. really odd. Um, we stopped there, then we got here in inner city Baltimore, really. I don't think we're that far from um, the harbor. Um, you guys are holding hands behind me right now. That's really weird. But um, it's it real downtown inner city stuff. Uh, we get on to this really, oh okay, yeah, you guys need to knock it off. Um, <laughs> really, really tight street. Um, with our two big coach buses, and we, you know, get here, we get in. Um, this, I'm on the 18th floor uh, out of 19. I'm on the se I'm on the 17th. This is the 16th floor where I reside. I'm on the 15th. Um, sadly, Big Al is by himself. Yeah. Um, this I got is the his solo room. queen bed. But yeah. yeah. You're definitely scared. Yeah, Big Al's. I'm, I don't. Robert can right. come over. Yeah, Big Al's Robert. probably going to come room with me and Cam yeah, tonight, Molly. sleep in the same bed as us. So Robert can stop by and chill out with me. Dude, you're obsessed with this Robert, bro. You need to you need to calm down. Where is he, Robert? I need... Robert. If you, Robert, if you can hear us, Robert, you can hear us, Robert, come join the pod. Show, show me, Robert, show if you're here. listening to All Twenty Two Podcast right now, um, you know, let us know how. It let, is. let us Get know some feedback. <laughs> and Cam's freaked out. So, um. We get in here, and there's, a f like, five elevators, but there's 60 of us football guys, so we're taking all of them. So I decide just, you know, I'll walk 18 flights of stairs. I'd rather not <laughs> wait for these elevators. <laughs> well, there was a few of us walking. We get to – we go up, like, one flight. It was, like, the fourth or fifth, and we get – and we're going up the stairway, and it just gets to a single door. Like, really eerie, really weird. And we go through there, and there's this guy sitting at the stairway. was like – you guys can't be up here. Yeah, you guys can't be up here. That's what said. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, we're a bit scared, so we walk back down and wait for an elevator. And I finally... And this hotel is actually really nice. It, it's a very it is, nice. I, I'm impressed. Yeah. It is well, very yeah, nice. Way better, way better than our like, last one. Ghosts are living in luxury. Way better than our last one. <laughs> these ghosts are living in luxury. But, um, yeah, then we ate dinner. Mm -hmm. um, Good grilled, dinner. Grilled chicken very and good. chicken parmesan. I think everybody can agree chicken parm is definitely the best. I had uh, yeah. four pieces of chicken parmesan. Yeah, I think I had three, chicken. so. Yeah. I had three. I had. I don't. Cam, are you watching the Martinsburg game? Cam's watching the Martinsburg game. He was a part of a team that's like, like best team in West Virginia history right now. So he's fangirling. You want, you want to say something about Martinsburg? Martinsburg High School against Highland Springs, the two number one West Vir or sorry. The two number one Virginia teams. We gonna see who the best Virginia team is today. You heard it right Whatever here. He said. Whatever he said. Um, Imagine being from Virginia and not PA. Dude, Dang. West Virginia. West Virginia. Um, now at least he's not from New York, so you know that's fine. Ethan's smirking in the corner. I played on a stadium that looks like this. Yeah. I played at Hershey Park Stadium, yeah, if I that counts. Sorry, Park is your stadium. stadium? Does your stadium look like this? No. no. Yeah, I played at Hershey too. John, you played at Hershey too. I have played at Hershey. Yeah. With us. Um, so what were we, we were talking about the meal. Meal was pretty good. We had our meetings and everything. Um, I was watching the Greencastle Waynesboro game. That's at about halftime. Um, I think it might be tied. Gunner, 
just texted me. It is tied right now. It's a tough one. Man, wow. hopefully all the old blue double pull through. We'll, we'll definitely see, but it, it'll def it's all Greencast wins, bro. Always an intense high school game. Military Appreciation Night, which we got yeah, to be a part of the first one. That was pretty cool. That was very cool. But um, so right now we're we're kind of just chilling. We got our snack, chilling here, making a podcast. Yep. Um, getting ready for tomorrow. Max. So um, how's everyone's you know away game going? Like the preparation stuff. How was it this morning? Um, so I woke up a little later than I wanted to. Oh, no, is this like supposed to be against him? No, I'm just oh, no. no, no. I got, I got, I was getting some homework done, uh, but then my Google t uh, Chrome tabs closed, so I got lost all my progress in the homework, so I gave up on that. And then I uh, got all my stuff ready, made sure I had all my clothes packed, got my liquid IV in the bag ready to hydrate for tomorrow, and then uh, did all my pads in the locker room at the last second. So um, all of us actually have traveled before, like. We, went, we all went to Grove City, but one guy who hasn't yet, and I want to hear about his experience so far. Uh, Ethan, come here. Oh, Ethan. Here you go. Oh, there, Ethan. You can take my seat real quick. Yeah. I want to hear how your, your experience is. <laughs> so, honestly, um, it's a pretty cool opportunity to be here right now. Um, this is my first time actually in the city of Baltimore, so it's a pretty cool experience. Um, Definitely like felt like a rookie this morning, didn't know what to pack. Had to get had to get one of the other guys packing list to find out what to bring, but all in all I'm excited for the game tomorrow and it's a big opportunity tomorrow to be a sweet bus ride home to come home with a win over the number nine team in the nation right now. So got a lot of work to do. Did you double or triple check? Uh so. double checked. Double, double checked. checked. I feel like everyone double checks. I, I I'm pretty sure I have everything, but I don't know. Knowing me, I'll probably there's probably something I forgot, but hopefully okay. I have the essentials. You'll so be fine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we actually um, have a uh, one guy who forgot his cleats. So <laughs> Takari, <I'm fine. laughs> so silly goose. One of our starting D linemen forgot his cleats, so we're having somebody drive all the way up here to bring his cleats here. Yeah. So that's interesting. So sorry, Takari, but you know, got got a triple double check. So. Other big news: we got our new white uniforms. We They're did. pretty fancy. They're pretty nice. We've rocked blue the last two games, so we'll finally get the you know get into that white. It'll be pretty nice. We only made white helmets. Only made white helmets. helmets. They look. Way home to the blue stripe. That, but that's basically John Hopkins. Yeah, They're the, just blue helmet with the, the white best, stripe. We'd be the best looking team in the, the best. In the state of Maryland and PA at the same time. These white uniforms are really nice, though. They are. So, I wish I kind of wish there was some gold in it, but. Yeah, this is. Um, we got one more overnight stay after this. Oh wait, wait you stay, we stay over till Sunday? No, at, against Moravian. When oh. we go to Moravian, we have an overnight. Oh, Aaron is out of the bathroom. This man just nuked my this man just nuked my hotel room's bathroom. How's everybody doing? Uh, follow all twenty-two. Daryl, right there. Do the what that man tells you. He will beat you. Can but you shut the door. Stink in my bathroom. Right, ain't doing anything. Red sauce. Red sauce. Um, but yeah, these. I mean, I never took an overnight trip in high school, so it's a little different. But it's pretty fun. I've done overnight trip. With wrestling. I have wrestling ball. and track. Oh, yeah. Pen and relays. Pen and relays. Never for football, though. Never for football. Not when, you, not when you guys, like, stayed at Hershey? I did. No. Yeah, I did. No, we're Hershey. not that far. Oh, yeah, no, I was like, yeah, we did for Hershey. We're about, Hershey was probably our furthest trip. It was about an hour and a half, hour 45. Yeah. Ours was like four, so. <laughs> yeah, ours was pretty far. But, yeah, so it's been a pretty exciting week for the team in general. Um, Coach Carter was out. Uh, what Tuesday and Wednesday? Yeah. Um, his daughter was born, which that was pretty cool. We have a new addition to the, you know, our team, our family, our fan one base. tower, our fan base. There you go. Um, so that was cool. So Coach Doc had the reins this week. We did the um, worst conditioning. We did some pretty tough conditioning. Yeah, uh, that was the first time I was gassed. Like I was. Poof. Not mine, but that was the. That was the I do it again. That, that was. That was the first time I really. Yo, it. yo, if Coach is watching this, do not listen to Shane. Listen to me. Like, don't, no, I know don't, Coach. Don't. I know Coach P is watching this because he's commenting. Do not listen to Shane. A lot of times. But that, was, that was a bad. That was bad. That was very bad. <laughs> that was very bad. That was very bad. Um, but yeah, it's been a tough week of practice getting prepared for this. I think you know we're ready. Ready yeah, to we roll. Def we definitely had to like really like focus to focus up this week and stay mentally ready for this game because this is a big game because mm -hmm. they have everything to lose and we have nothing to lose and when we go out there and 
get a dub, that's going to be bad for them. So, yeah. I, I think definitely since Grove City, we've matured as a team mm -hmm. and pretty much on both sides of the ball improved. Defense has definitely stepped it up. Offense has definitely stepped it up. We showed that with McDaniel. We definitely put on a better show than Grove City, and I feel like this week we could definitely do way better than both those games combined. Definitely. We've been putting a lot of effort well in our practice. Yeah, well yeah. yeah we, we put in a lot of work, and, you know, we're getting better. Growing older as a team, I know there's a lot of freshmen playing, so, you know, getting these reps. Um, so I'm excited, ready to roll, and um, ready, you know, just play football. You know, yeah. we don't get many Pretty shots sport. of this. Um, we're already two games deep. We're yeah. already two games deep we plus have, the scrimmage. We have 38 games left for the rest of our lives. So, so let's, let's make up. them count. Yeah. Um, we're on a little off college football, Thursday night football game. We had the Chargers and the Chiefs, so it was a close one. Um, the Chiefs ended Chiefs, up winning. Okay, good. That's what I said. That, that is what you said. John. I predicted Chiefs. I also said Chiefs. Good job. I was also uh, me and Max were said Chargers. Yeah, yeah, me and Shank were like one of like four people to say Chargers, or like two or four people to say Chargers. Um, and they were winning almost the whole game until Justin Herbert kind of threw a uh, pick six. Um, so that, that kind of stu like sucked and like ruined the, the drive and – such a shame because Justin Herbert was on my uh, fantasy team. So, yeah, I um, on fantasy wise, I had Mike Williams and Austin Eckler, who got me almost 40 points. It was it was a pretty good night. But um, Justin Herbert, he is he's a star. Last night when he gets you know banged up in the rib cage like that, and on third and one, he can't even run for the first down because he's so hurt. But on fourth and one, he tosses an absolute dime. He has that dog in him. A dog mentality. How about let's talk about that hit uh, Duran James had on Travis Kelsey. That was WWE right there in football. That was absolutely nasty. Uh, I don't even know, like, how much they weigh, but I know Travis Kelsey definitely weighs at least 30 pounds more, Way more. to pick up a man like that and just toss him. And um, him and him and his brother Jason, Travis and um, Jason Kelsey, have a podcast together, and they were talking about um, Jason getting hip-thrusted by um, yeah, the linebacker, that. and um, they were also talking about how Derwin, Derwin James is a hard hitter prior to this game, so, you know. Predicted the future. They did predict the future, which is really funny. Um, also, from before, when we were talking about the predictions, follow the All22 TikTok and Instagram. Wow. So that's what we're talking and about. And YouTube, because it's on YouTube, YouTube, too. And YouTube, and YouTube, what we're talking about. Wow, that was a great plug. Gotcha. I'm, wow, I have great friends, great teammates, great friends. Yeah, follow All22. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, John. Um, yeah. Yeah. You know, after you're done watching this, you know, hit, go get a qu quick, quick, quick follow. TikToks. Yeah. And buy merch. Buy the God Gilp t-shirt. God Gilp. Sure God Gilp. Go with on with like Joe that, Rogan. Man. Joe Rogan. Yeah. You want me to get on with Joe Rogan? Yeah. yeah. I'll try yeah, my Joe best. Rogan. Yeah. Joe Rogan. Um. Any other remarks you guys want to say before we wrap this up? Quick little, quick little, you know, on the road pod. Anything you want to say, yeah. John? Nothing really. Uh. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> <laughs> Support Mr. Shank here. He's a nice guy. Oh, thanks. Yeah, he works hard on this stuff, so I really he appreciate does. if you guys give him a follow and stuff. Oh, and I love Gilk. John, John does is love the Gilk. Maker of I Gilk. love Gilk. He makes the Gilk the best. Buck is the maker of Gilk. Yeah. Well, um, thank you guys for hopping on. Thank you guys for tuning in. Yeah. Um, Big Al, you want to lead us out? Um, Fallout 22 podcast. <laughs> what, what do we end with? Oh, everyone. Tip of the spear. Always, Always sharp. sharp. <laughs>